What's going on you guys? What's up? Welcome back to my channel for another vlog. Always appreciate you being here. If you're new, I'm Jordan and thank you so much for watching. Um, it's Wednesday the 31st. It is 11.28 in the morning. Um, I'm actually in San Diego right now, which is about an hour away from my house. I am having a lunch with one of my friends, Brittany Brown, who you guys may know f through social media. She actually had an incredible um, weight loss transformation herself, and she helps people now to overcome binge eating. She is the like CEO and owner, I believe, of the company, Beating Binge Eating, and they have this whole like recovery program. Um, and she's just another amazing, inspiring, like boss babe type of woman who we connected a few months ago, and we haven't really gotten to know each other yet. Um, so she asked me out to lunch and you guys know this year I'm saying yes to everything I'm usually like it's funny because even though I put myself out there so much on YouTube I still feel a little introverted and I don't go like out to too many things But this year I'm like anytime someone asks me to hang out or like go to like a networking event I'm trying to say yes to so many more things and Christian is in school anyways So it's I can't like spend the morning with him anyways, so I figured I would come I'm super excited to get to know her a little bit better um, But yeah, I just got a grande or no of, what is this called? Venti iced Americano with vanilla and half and half blended on the way down here. Um, you guys know I've been doing intermittent fasting, so I don't really eat much until the afternoon. All I really get in the morning is a coffee. Um, but yeah, this is also like the first uh, day that I've gotten somewhat ready in like forever. In like a week, it just feels weird seeing myself in the viewfinder with like extensions and stuff because you guys know I've been so on like my weight loss kick and working out six days a week, so my hair has always like been dirty I've just been in gym clothes lately so today was the first time I got like I was like you know what I'll just get like a little dressed up today and then I was like if a bitch is getting dressed up I might as well vlog I see you guys in the requests for like girl bring black bring can I even talk bring back all the vlogs the flashbacks vlogs and it's so fulfilling and amazing for me to hear that you guys like watching my life because sometimes I'm like oh I'm not doing something interesting today like I have nothing cool to vlog for them but I think you guys just want to see someone else's life like from an outside perspective um which I am like is so sweet of me like I think that's so sweet of you guys to want to see it and I just want you to know that I see all the comments I haven't been able honestly lately to vlog as much as I've wanted just because I'm launching my Instagram and my YouTube masterclass for my girl boss Academy and that has taken everything out of me you guys I've been working on it for like six to seven months I know I keep saying on Instagram and social media oh I'm working on this today like that's why I'm not super active right now because I'm behind the scenes working on this but I don't think a lot like 90% of you even know what it entails and all the details that go into the back end of creating a whole new website and actually launching digital courses because it's a first for me it's something this is the first time I've ever doing it and it's so much more work than I even thought um, which is fine like I'm a hard worker I will work my ass off to learn the platform and like make sure everything is right for you guys and the actual content within the courses is what I'm so passionate about like helping other boss babes grow up their tribe and growing an organic following and increasing their revenue that's what I'm passionate about so clearly I love doing it but it is a lot of work behind the scenes um, maybe I could make a video of like behind the scenes what it's like to launch digital courses through Kajabi and make your whole own website and stuff just because it's a lot um, but I've just been so heavily focused on that for the past few months and getting ready to like launch all of that because I know so many of you are waiting for it which is also exciting just to know that so many of you are excited um, but that's taken so much of my time on the back end so that's why I've been putting up like my shred videos for my fitness series and also like tea times and other stuff but I haven't been able to vlog like multiple times a week just because I've been doing that so much basically uh, but the launch is finally coming up probably here in, the, in about like a week I wanted to launch on February 1st but everything is not 100% done and I'm going to wait I would rather wait the extra week and launch everything like seamlessly perfect have it all good to go but yeah we're here we're back we're vlogging we're good as uh marissa lace would say we're here we good we thriving we ready so anywho i uh, brought myself some food some snacks today just to stay on track because you guys know i am in on my cut obviously i'm on like week two and let me just say i'm feeling so good i think i'm down almost six pounds in two weeks like i'm feeling amazing i just brought some crunchy rice rolls as a snack and some strawberries my friend Brittany and i are going to be eating lunch over here but I think I'm gonna be out most of the day. I might stop at the beach on the way home just because I haven't been down here in a while and I already made the drive down, like why not? Um, but I wanted to just pack some healthy snacks. I also just packed a diet Snapple just so I stay on track and I'm expecting the meal we're gonna have is gonna be a little bit higher in fat and carbs since we're going out. So I'll have to just like plan the rest of my day around that to make sure I hit my overall macros perfectly. Um, but yeah, brought a bunch of workbooks and stuff because I'm going to stop at Starbucks after our lunch and do some work. But I think she's actually almost here. So let's go ahead and get a parking spot 
I'll introduce you guys to her if she wants to be on the vlog. Um, and then yeah, we might actually stop at the beach after. What else? Oh, I'm having a meeting with a rep from Audible, which is really, really cool because y'all know I am so into personal development and personal growth and business growth. And I have been using Audible for so long without even being paid to talk about it. So the fact that they hit me up to like do a possible sponsorship is really exciting for me and so cool because it's something organically that I already have loved for so long. And those are the best sponsorships. That, those are actually the only sponsorships I do. If you've been on my channel a while, I, I don't really even do sponsors. I do Thrive Market and Thread Up because they're both super affordable and they both give you guys back a lot of value. And I love companies who actually give my audience like a huge discount or it's just something I know you guys will love. Oh, that's Brittany. All right, let me find her guys and find a parking spot and I'll see you at lunch. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so this is Brittany. Hi. Say what's up. Um, you wanna tell them what you got? I got a seaweed salad. And amazing. Looks so good. And then I think tuna, salmon, avocado roll. Ooh, that looks bomb. Mm -hmm. I just got a regular California roll and just some edamame. Diet Coke. What's up, you guys? So yesterday, after I went to lunch with my friend Brittany, I filmed a little, like, um, chatty clip in the car letting you know that I was going to rush home because I pulled up an email on my phone from DHL Which is the Gymshark um, Like who they ship through internationally and I was super excited because I was like, oh my Gymshark stuff is at home Let me go home and review the Nikki B line for you guys for whatever reason that little clip got deleted So I'm just popping on the next morning to let you know that for the rest of this video I'm just gonna go into what I purchased from the Gymshark season 2 Nikki B release um, I've been watching her for a while and just respect her so much as a woman not just a fitness model I think she's got a great mindset and really uses her platform for good. Um, so I am so down to support her. You guys know I always love new fitness wear. I tried some new sizing because I am losing weight. So if you've watched my old Gymshark reviews, it's going to be a bit different. Like I got some pants in a medium, which I've never done in my life, which feels really cool. Um, but I'm just, I want to see how everything's made. I know the material is all very different. So yeah, we'll go over every single item that I purchased, how much it was, what everything is made out of. Um, and just so you know, I am just doing this review because I heard there's going to be another restock. I would never want to review something for you guys that I know you couldn't get. Like, I don't think I've ever done that on my channel. That wouldn't be intentional. Um, but I know she mentioned twice on her Twitter and stuff that there'd be another restock. So if you're thinking about purchasing, you always have to snag it super quick because everything sells out. So hopefully this video can help you to reference based upon what type of body type you have, what you want to buy if she does a restock. Um, so let's just go ahead and get into everything I purchased and I'll try it all on for you guys. All right, we're going to start off with the leggings. I got two pairs. I got this olive green color and then also black. I think they're called the dynamic. I'll have all the information right here. First thing I want to mention, they are super high waisted. My belly button is down here. Like if I wanted to, and I might in a clip to actually show you guys, I pull them up to here. I can like the area from your crotch up until the top is very, very, very long. So if you have a really short torso, you're going to have a ton of excess material right here, which I've heard other like shorter girls say in their reviews. So it's something to totally be considerate of. I believe I'm people ask me all the time. I haven't like legit measured myself in forever, but I think I'm five, seven or eight or five, eight and a half. Like I'm a taller girl for sure. And there's still extra material right here. I kind of just like pushed it down so I could like do this review and like make them look okay. I don't yank them up too much because obviously you're gonna have a crazy camel toe, uh, but they're really high. Like I could pull them up to here if I wanted, but I digress on that. The material is super comfortable. This is the first pair of leggings I've ever ordered in a medium just because I am losing weight and I wanted to see how it would be if I sized down and I watched other reviews which said they were really compressive right here, so to size down. So these are a medium. Um, my past two Gymshark reviews that you guys have seen, I have had all of the pants in a large. Sorry, trying to fix that angle for you. Um, so they fit really good right here. As you can tell, they're pretty tight, which I like. They are pretty compressive right here. Um, and then again at the top, this is always like a very flattering angle, I think, to have leggings that like go in an X in here. I personally really like it. Um, this is how they look from the side. Again, I don't, you know, have that Nikki B butt. Uh, but if you have like a super big butt, there's pretty good. Like the material will obviously accentuate that and make you look a little bit better if you guys want to see them all the way down to the ground. Sorry, y'all, I am not good at these clothing reviews. This is how they look all the way down. 
I personally just feel like they're super comfortable. I don't know how flattering the two-tone color is on my body. Like, you guys can let me know. They're super stretchy. I don't feel like they're going to be, like, they're not see-through or sheer, and they do pass the squat test, so you can go like this without feeling like you're going to rip them or anything. So, yeah, overall, just pretty comfortable, and I find that the way that they cut them at the top right here is just, like, pretty flattering, so... Yeah, definitely gonna keep these. Also did just end up getting that same pair of leggings in plain black, just wanted to show you guys the contrast with the gray. Um, so you basically just have the same like cross cut out around your midsection and then you have her logo here in silver. And then side, oh, I forgot to mention in the try on, the side pockets. So you can fit your phone or like an iPhone in there. So it's nice that you've got the side pockets. And then all the leggings are two tone. So these just go from a solid black down into the gray, which I find is really, really flattering. Um, so yeah, full length pants as pretty much look the exact same, which is why I'm not gonna try on this pair, but I just wanted to show you guys the color scheme. So moving on to the bra, I'll try on all three colors for you guys, um, and I'll have the name right here. Why do I, I think it's called the Dynamic Bra, maybe? Um, it is a lot more supportive and thicker material than any other Gymshark bra I've ordered in the past. I ordered the Seamless, and it was way too flimsy. So this actually has a lot of like very thick material right here, which hugs you in pretty tight, which I prefer. Um, my breast tissue is like definitely going down as I lose weight, so I don't have as big of boobs as I used to have in my previous videos. I had almost a D. Now I'm like just barely a C cup, maybe even a B. Like, I'm really losing a lot of my boobs, unfortunately. Uh, but it's all good. Um, but yeah, they hold it in, like, pretty well. One thing I'd be careful of, if you literally, like, bend over, like, your girls can, like... I mean, it's pretty tight right there, but it's also, like... It's weird because it's tight right here, but yet it's a little bit looser right here. So just be careful, you know? Nothing, like, slips out. Any nip slips, anything crazy. But this is the best bra I've ever ordered from Gymshark. Very, very thick. Really good quality. I like how the logo is, like, not all up in your face. It's just, like, very, like, transparent on there. Then as for the back, personally, I hold a lot of fat in my back, which I don't like and I'm trying to get rid of. So I would have preferred something different back here. It is really supportive, but if you have back fat here, under here, like anywhere on your back, it's going to show in this bra. Um, so my goal, you guys know I'm trying to like lean down and be able to like go in the gym and wear this bra with no jacket over top because I feel confident in the front right here. Um, but on the back, it's just like, it just really like... Urgh, it hits you right where the back fat is. Ladies, I know you feel me. But overall, super cute, really good quality for the price, and I'm really happy with this purchase. Also just wanted to show you guys, I ended up getting the sports bra in two other colors. Um, these two and the black were the only ones she offered, except for there was like a pineapple one, which had a print. I truly just didn't think I would wear that. Even this is pretty bright for me in the gym because I like to just go a lot more neutral, but it's got the same like mesh detailing on the back, full open back. Again, this part right here is super supportive and pretty tight, so it actually holds you in pretty well, um, which I personally like. You guys know I'm, already, I'm all about like olive greens, so this one I'll actually get a lot of wear out of. I don't, I'm not sure if I'll wear this one, but I'm gonna keep the tag on just in case I end up putting it on Poshmark or something if I don't like end up wearing it or whatever. All right, so next up we have the shorts. I just ordered one pair. I ordered the gray and the white just because I thought this color would go with like any type of gym outfit or anything that I chose. It's neutral, but... Look at this, they are humongous. I think these just honestly run so, so big. I got a large, I don't know if it's just because I still see myself as being bigger than I am and I just went to like order my normal size. I definitely should have ordered a medium because like, look at this. Even when you roll them down, they're still, the waistband is just made to where they're like really baggy. Um, so just know that I would size down, but they are super, super comfortable. I love the material. I like the way she created them with the little like mesh paneling on the side. I'll give you guys a better. Um, come on camera sorry y'all uh but yeah super comfortable again they're just loose but i'll still wear them around the house i don't think i'm gonna go through the hassle of returning them um but really cute mesh paneling here you know nikki b's all about the booty uh your girl still we're still working on a butt okay not quite there yet but that's okay just know that they're super short up on the side right here like literally you can see someone's butt so i don't think you're gonna wear these to the gym unless you're a little bit of a shorter person or you're just okay showing that area um, cause they do ride up like pretty high, but they're just very wavy, flowy, really good for the price. If I had a medium, I'd probably wear them out in public or whatever, but I'm just going to keep these to like wear around the house. I believe they were pretty well priced. All right. So I think that's going to do it for this video. You guys, thank you so much for watching, for following me along my fitness journey and just my life in general, you know, a little little car vlog situation in there. Hope that was okay that I kind of just jumbled all these clips into one video for you guys. I appreciate you so much. Um, the next fitness video in my shred series will be a full body workout and a 
what was I just gonna say? Meal prep and a meal prep. Uh, meal prep for the whole week, budget friendly. So please make sure that you're subscribed down below and like this video. Um, if you wanna follow along my Shred 12 week cut series and you're new here, I'll link the first three episodes down below. I'm currently on week three and I'm feeling amazing and I just can't wait to see my final results at the end of this. And I wanna thank you guys for encouraging me and like, motivating me so much like you say my videos help you on your fitness journey but like your guys' support and encouragement back to me is what's kept me going which is so so cool so i love you i just want you guys to know once again how appreciated you are and just i just feel really like happy and fulfilled that it's exciting for you to watch my journey and i want you to know in every video that i appreciate it so i'm like ah! i'm like bending over my uh my uh, legs are hurting also. Went like random on my nails this week, but I'm kind of loving it. I always do nude, but I was like, mm -mm, a bitch gonna try purple today. But anywho, I can't bend over like that anymore, y'all. I'm tired. I love you. Please subscribe, like the video, follow me on Instagram to see what I eat daily and to see just way more like fitness shenanigans. So love you so much. See you in the next one. Na na, we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. Da 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 da